How's it going guys, guys, maybe pals? I'm Alison Wonder and your favorite Kiwi trans girl, and I'm a bit of a neat freak. Actually, when I say bit, I mean a lot. I cannot stand mess. My room is in an eternal state of spotlessness. It is perhaps for this reason that maid outfits fit me better than just about anyone else on the planet. It's like they were made specifically for my existence. I'm also hot, but a little bit of a bitch, which is why I'm outside your house. Shut up. Before you say anything, put the mic on. Is this a video? Wait, how do you open the door? No! Welcome to your house. It's a, a little bit messy. Looks like you could use some help. Let's see what we're working with. Over here, we've got a kitchen. This is nice and clean. Receipt. This is unacceptable. Bread clip. This is a box. Horror. Over here. This is unacceptable. Definitely a solid loss of points for this one here. Shredded paper. It seems to have been molded into some sort of boxy square. This is an actual boxy square. That should not be in a living room. Whatever. This is a disgusting mess. There is all manner of unholy plastics all over the floor. This is rubbish. The whole floor covered in filth, except for this section right here for some reason. I don't entirely know what's happened here. There's also a gun. I'm pretty sure this is illegal. Uh. Moving on. Table. There, as you can see, there's wrapping paper on this table. Are you wrapping anything? I don't think so. You don't have friends. Next, we have flowers. Now these are admittedly quite beautiful, but they are wilting and dying because you are hopeless, devoid of love, and you are incapable of taking care of a living thing. Here is a flax plant. It says congratulations. I can only assume that you're having a baby. And having seen how you take care of flowers, I think that's an unwise decision. Bubble wrap everywhere. And while bubble wrap is very, very entertaining, Oh. <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. It is rubbish. We've got tanks. What are you, some kind of fucking nerd? Model tanks, a model plane. You've even got the Crusader. What kind of fucking demented moron are you? Don't you know this is shit? Buy a Sherman. We've also got paint. These need to be filed away in a cupboard. You need to be intelligent with how you store your precious things. Look at, let's take a, let's take a quick stock take of the paints we've got. We've got gunmetal. I've heard that they use that to make metal for guns. Rubber black. There's a joke there, and I think I would be called racist if I made it. We also have flat flesh, which is just my chest. You didn't need to zoom in. We have a takeaway box with a fork that has probably been here for several days. This is empty why is this not in the rubbish uh. moving on what is that what is that genuinely i don't know what that is because i haven't got lenses in my glasses what is that i i actually what it's a leaf disgusting Do you think this is a fucking joke? <laughs> you think this is a fucking joke? Yeah. We're doing this for charity. And you left this thing on the floor for someone to step on. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh about it. Laugh about it. Sick children. Sick children. And now on to Moon Base Alpha. What the f your room. Oh. Oh, this is appalling. Wait. This is atrocious. What? These aren't mine. Shocking! What? Clothes all over the floor. Disgusting. I can't believe this. 
I'm not gonna lie, I may have put the clothes on the floor to make this more dramatic. That is not how you clean a mess! Quick review of the standard basic trans girl room. This is your room, isn't it? You watching the video? This is your room. Unmade bed, shit, all over the desk. Not literal shit, actually. Hold that thought. We can't discount that just yet. Stuffed toys everywhere. This section of the floor actually looks all right. Probably where you host the rituals. We've got a severed head. That is not what I expect to see. That is a health and safety hazard. Floor length mirror, good. But a random tape measure, not good. There's a piece of plastic here. That's definitely subpar. You're gonna lose a point for that. Disembodied Lego. What does this belong to? What about this? This looks even less realistic. A two-year-old can make this. This is really gonna take a lot of work. When we get cleaning later, this is probably, this is really gonna take a lot of work. This is just, oh my God, I've never seen anything quite like this. This is more shocking than what I did in Guatemala. Why do you have a ruler with a mark at eight inches? Uh, I, d sorry, did I leave that out? I, I, I'm, that's so have embarrassing. Have you been measuring cucumbers? Yeah. No, I, I, d I, I, I can't even believe that's left out. I'm so sorry. It's a big cucumber. There is a lot of things here that we can throw out, which is actually good news. One of the main facets of cleaning is throwing things out. What the f is that? What the f What the f It's like a little biological mess-making machine. There's Dash. No, he's got to go. This is unacceptable. This Wait, is- uh, don't touch him. Why not? Did he touch the cheese? Listen, I'm not gonna speak. He's got the cheese to- I'm out, I'm out. It's a really outdated reference. I'm Have you ever it. heard of the liquidators at Chernobyl? Yeah. Because that's what we're gonna have to do. No. Oh. We're going to have to listen, listen. It will not be the first- I know for a fact, it will not be the first time 24 men have paraded through this house in one night. Summary so far, there's a lot of rubbish in places and you can't take care of plants. You have a biological mess-making machine simultaneously infected with the cheese touch. Altogether, at the moment, I'm putting you at a pretty low score. Um, this, you, I mean, you've lost at least 50 points so far and we're not even like halfway done. But there's more to come and trust me, as a cleaning guru, we can fix things up. Upstairs. Uh, no, uh, we can't go upstairs. Why? Why can't we go upstairs? Uh, demons. Of Salza? Or... No. Okay. I don't f with them demons of Sangza. Now, what is going on in this room? This is shocking. This is also shocking. What is this? Should I, is this clean? Should I be touching this? Or is it cum covered? I wouldn't put it past it. This is where you sleep. Irrelevant. Oh no, oh no, this is just, this is really not good for you. This is not good for you here. Oh, there we go. That's a fly. That's a dead fly on that floor. That, that's shocking. This bathroom, sink looks pretty clean. But what the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? Alice, that's your towel. Look at th this one hiding from me. Oh, that's just terrible. That's just terrible. A fresh and fruity yogurt cup. Oh no. Oh. This is, of course, the average house of the trans woman. But luckily for you, I'm wearing a maid outfit for charity. And because you have so kindly and so generously donated to the fundraiser to the right of this video. I'm gonna clean your house for you. Isn't that a treat? So, what did we receive as a rating? An Alice in Wonderland cleanliness rating before cleaning? A five out of 100. Five out of 100. Let's get cleaning and see what that jumps to.
The vacuum just ran out of battery. Well, I guess you're gonna have to do the vacuuming in your own time, friend. Right, so we've now cleaned this entire house and in my honest opinion, I think it looks pretty sparkly clean. Now, of course, we're not doing this for no reason. As you can see to the right of this video, we're doing a fundraiser for Transgender Law Center. They're an awesome charity that focuses on fighting anti-trans legislation. Please consider donating to support our cause. Any little bit helps. I'm also selling this maid outfit for charity. I have a charity auction on eBay. The link is in the description if you want to have a go. And without further ado, Let's take another look at the house, now that I've had a go at it. So what do you think? How did I do? Let me know in the comments. I think having now cleaned this house, it's worthy of a score on the Alice in Wonderland cleanliness factor of 90 out of 100. Could have been better, but the vacuum cleaner did stop working, which basically meant we couldn't finish it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're feeling particularly kind, you could share it as well to further the reach of our cause. Please consider donating to our fundraiser, Blig, and take a look at the charity auction in the description. See ya.